genetically as a joke? Genetic, no, that was oh, a, that was I, like that was okay. like my way of saying it. <laughs> I thought you just live it when he can. But I See, I'd be find, thinking. I find big noses hot. I think they're hot. I'm into them. I oh, like mean, big okay. Noses. When you say big noses, do you mean the arch of the nose itself, or like, do you mean the width of the nose? What do you mean by like I like big noses? Oh, Jews arch. I guess. Oh, so you like Jews then? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, you Jewish? Isn't yeah. that normal? Well, it. it I mean, <laughs> No, I mean in in the same way that some people like you know to to date outside you know. No, but you dating inside, so that's normal then. I guess it's just big noses. It's isn't... like dogs. It's like dogs liking dogs. Uh, it's not like, like you it's know not what like dogs. Features okay, is like, why, it's why, not like you know dogs, what, Trevor. It is. <laughs> you know what white features <laughs> is like? Kind of put it in your parlance. It's like a shiksa. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's so like it's a like a black. Want to explain a yourself? Shiksa is a is like a very white Aryan looking. You're gonna think that I'm saying this to try to sound enlightened but i'm not i have literally never looked at a black girl and thought oh she's got white she i seems never had white either looking. i heard it from black people i heard the term white features from black people like i, I wasn't like, down. I like you know why i like her white her nose makes me comfortable <laughs> mm. I well i mean look if you, if you look at it in hollywood and stuff the, the generally the woman Dorothy who Dan make it white features the, yeah. the black women who make it further and will be in the mainstream movies are the black women with more white features I I are there white people saying. with black features yeah they, yes they sure. are and yes, i have an are. example of one they are um, They're very few and far between but they are they don't they don't become famous because if you white with black features they are stunned you just lost in life that's like harsh wait <laughs> why i'm trying to think a white person with black features there are some russell crow something no, about russell crow no. no no well have you ever seen have you ever met a person that is so, that want maybe this won't resonate with you as a south african but for an uh, american dude that white dude that wants to be black so hard that eventually he starts to kind of be black i i i completely agree with you it's very interesting they grow they grow it's white dudes that hang out with black dudes and i always pride myself for never letting this happen and the beastie boys too and eminem never lets this happen right they grow the chin strap beard right and they start their faces start to look. It's very. You guys are saying it. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. We both it's came true. to this independently. Uh, MC Search would be an example of a person like that. Yes, uh, Search always looked a little Jewish, but he's not. He's a good example. There's a guy named Pete Rosenberg who's well, a DJ who absolute. And it's like dogs be, or people becoming. It's not like dogs. Yeah. It, it is not like, like dogs. Can we just? You don't compare <laughs> black people to dogs. So Chinese people, in many ways, are like dogs. Let me just start off with <laughs> no, that. No, no, it's like do- animals. Is an- owners looking like, like their dogs? Uh, we have white people problems. Well, okay, so well, what, what do you mean owners looking? So you saying the black white guy looks the like the black people? Who white people are the, the owners. Dog. Oh, okay. So, so white people like like the white dog. people looking like they're no, okay, okay. I would never. Not if you want to get racist about it, no, no. I'm just you're born a crime. I'm just asking. So Jacob Siroff, you know the comedian Jacob Siroff. Anybody know him? Friend of mine. He's got a brother they were both super into hip-hop and super tr- wanted to be black their whole childhood and so, now they're black uh well well one day jacob's brother um came home they're twins and he goes hey man somebody said i look mixed today <laughs> like he was bragging <laughs> <laughs> to me you seem like a dude who knows what's up uh, that's fucking hilarious that is the perfect human being isn't it though i mean you have all the privileges of a white person but then you have the swag of a black man that right. is is that not the, the the ultimate goal is that not what you want to strive to achieve the it, question really becomes when a dude when a white dude becomes that black uh and it usually connects to being like ghetto it's not just being black it's not like you're a black african-american so it's professor yes, yes you're like yes. A, a gangster okay is what okay you're trying to be. yes do you still have the privilege you still have the privilege yeah, because, I, because the what police Mooney, what paul money calls the complexion for the protection right but i'm saying if like <laughs> if if that dude walks into a liquor store with sagging ass pants a big ass gold medallion will, if he walks in at the same you know time what? as a well-dressed black man they will still They'll look, look at, at the black, black man. man yeah uh yeah they will they will stay kneel. ghetto no, they will right. kneel unless they've been robbed by the white guy before or a white guy that looks similar to him if i'm wearing an overly Hip hoppy outfit and not I don't really anymore. But if I'm wearing like a, a big, big like fur lined uh, jacket in New York and I hail a cab, yes, they I will not get cabs. But they don't see you; they see the fur on right. the jacket. They, they see the, see the black, outline. They see the black clothes. That's they what see I'm the saying. black features. Maybe yes. they're in the pita. You know, maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cab drivers. Are in but I, have you ever tried rolling up your sleeves on the jacket and then putting your white? I've arm done the out? thing. I've done right. more or than just pull the hoodie back. Hey, dozens, it's me, guys. I'm one of you. Dozens of times, I've hailed cabs. I've been with black people and hailed a cab and tell them to hide. Yeah, and then they like come sneaking up. Then we all go to Brooklyn and rob this motherfucker. No, wow. were you the Schindler of cabs? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Schindler of cab. cab. Cab catcher. Um, so you were born a crime, and at what point did that message start to become resonant to you? Did it ever? Did you ever feel like... 
in the midst of that racism. You know what's, what's fully? The, the great thing for me is I I, I grew up black. Um, now because my me mother too. and I basically had to move to the townships in South Africa, you everything was broken down to the finest degree of your race. So so like every it wasn't just black; it was what tribe are you from? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So even for me, when I walk around in America, I, I go, oh yeah, that's a black guy, but then he would be from that tribe, and he'd probably be from that tribe, and you know what I mean? Yeah. So. So 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 it, you you had to choose. So I could have gone to I don't know extended light skinned family if I could have found some, which I didn't. But I had to go with my mom. So I had to downgrade according to the government and go live in the black you know in the in the townships, which was Soweto at the time. Where's your dad? So, at? Well, he still stayed in the city. He was white. So. But you didn't stay with him. No, I couldn't. Oh, because he were was a white. Crime. Yes, right. Because I and was, he kept saying like ah, that's that's, that's my maid. Maids. He's also my maid. He, this <laughs> little baby is my maid. That's, but that's basically that's what baby happened. Is when I got bigger, then it was like okay, maid, the maid. This thing doesn't work anymore because who, who is this child? In fact, on my birth certificate, they couldn't even write who my father was because then there'd be like there'd be shit. People would go to jail. That's so, so fucking crazy. So my father, they 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 just wrote some dude from Swaziland. That's that's how they justified the light skinnedness because right. they're like yeah, there's light skinned people in Swaziland. So we'll let you. <laughs> I'd like to see that long form birth then, certificate. <laughs> Check that out. So you moved to where did you say Su- Sueto? Uh, Sueto, yeah. Sueto. Yeah. Sueto. The southwestern township. That's actually what it stands for. Mm-hmm. That's, and that the was biggest. where most of the unrest was. Correct. That's where it was the biggest. It so was, it's, yeah. liter- it was it's literally place. a ghetto. Literally it, yes, an actual yes. ghetto. But yes. ghettos there are fucking ghetto. They're but like I don't mean ghetto. I don't mean ghetto like bad neighborhood. I mean it's both bad. It's an actual ghetto. Like yes, the original. It's an actual yes. ghetto. It's a, it's yes. a township. It's stay ghetto. Like for instance, my my toilet was outside. We you had to walk to the toilet so at night you'd pee into a bucket and then if you needed to take a shit you had to walk outside to go and do what you had to do there was how no many shits were you taking a week and how many would you have taken if you had a, I would have taken way more shits house. had I had an indoor toilet because that was I mean uh, yeah, I you must I, have held in yeah when I first started shits. I mean the, the worst have you ever uh, have you ever been to a long drop have you, have you ever used one a, a long, long drop oh sure no, I like, like the an outhouse, sign of that outhouse. where there's no flushing there's yeah, no outhouse. yes 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 and then you it's basically a race against the flies which is it's not right. a great way to shit I oh think I wait had. so they're eight feet down the like the bottom of the of the of the might depends how long no, your drop is a bit deeper than that but we try and, and how and deep then, I don't know I've never you measured didn't jump it. in right I didn't so the flies yeah. were down there yeah the and then basically was, you, I've got to dig yeah. it and run let me ask before you this. they come up did your outhouse have white features. <laughs> I've it never did heard of such a thing. No, it's funny no. you say that because you know what? That, that was the next level of you. Like I remember my, my, my grandmother's house um, on, on my cousin's side was was like um, – was a horror. It was just a slab of concrete that you sat on, and then and then my gran on my mom's side, she was a bit more affluent, so she had the white toilet seat on the on the slab. So of concrete. you felt like you were sitting on a <laughs> toilet. It had that, you know. She'd bring you some tea. Yeah, yeah, and you'd be like, oh yeah, this is a, you know, this is nice. And then we got the flushing ones, but still they were outdoors, and everyone had to share. This is five, why, six people. And why didn't your dad move you guys out of South Africa? Was that not an option? My mom just never wanted to leave. My mom, I asked her this all the time. I was like, if I had my choice, I would I would have gone to. I mean, that's a great place. As a, sure. You know, whoa, it's, it's a very nice. Um, and she was like, no, no. She wanted to stay and rough it out, I guess. I don't know. I were, don't. Were you guys super poor or was just the way the neighborhood was? Everyone was poor. Yeah. So super poor is only, is, is relative. Because right. if everyone's poor, then you're not poor. Right. So we, were, we all lived in the same. Like in my, we, my grandmother had a two-roomed house. And there were, what, let me think. It was grandma, grandma, great-grandmother. And for, it was about nine of us living there. So... There was the the living room slash kitchen slash bedroom for the kids, and then there was the bedroom for the adults, and then everyone slept there, and and then you know. Where'd you get the pussy? I mean, if you needed to get some pussy, where'd you do that at? In the outhouse? Well, generally, you did it outside. Like if you like, you'd play house. Oh yeah. And you play go outside. House. And then you go, <laughs> and then you go to you just like the bushes or whatever. The but bush. then, but I, I love sex. Young. I was young, so I wasn't getting pussy at this. Oh, time. you weren't. <laughs> so and then no, and my grand, my grand was scared to let me go in the streets because she was worried about me because I didn't have, I wasn't black. So she was what? like, so you could get beat up by the black kids. No, too. I wouldn't. She no, just wouldn't. thought that would happen. Oh, so was that true? Was there racism from coming no, from the other no, side? No, with no. black people, that's why white people can be black and hang out with black people because then they just like, if you because black people don't understand why anyone would want to be black so if you do then we're not gonna hit you it's like well okay you've made your decision you've 
You've chosen it, so you, you have it. You've made your choice, fool. Yes. If, if, do you get what I'm saying? If, so if you decided to be black, I, black people wouldn't really alienate you once they get to know you. They'd just be like, oh, yeah, that's Moshe. That's, that's, he comes to the neighborhood. And that's the dude. That's what he does. Right. And but there are th- people like that. And then the new black guys that meet you would be like, who's that white boy? Sure. And then it would be like, no, he's Moshe. He's one of us. And, and then, then it would take like 15 minutes to explain that he wanted to hang out with black <laughs> people. Like, yeah, but why would he want to hang out with us? It's yeah, such a just, shitty. But is that a thing? <laughs> is that a cultural thing? Like, like there would be white people that would come around and be like, not no not then foreigners did though it was like a yeah. tourist thing a lots of foreigners would i meet a lots of americans here and they go well i i came out to south africa out in the 80s i uh, i enjoyed soweto it was great i'm I, sure that it's because they, it they pro- have that it was a very it probably made them feel less racist about american definitely racism. definitely yeah yeah yeah, they, uh, yeah like this is racist but oh, we yeah. we're we've got I, it all i went out. to soweto that's i mean <laughs> i i checked out of racism when i went to that we, neighborhood yeah we've got it all they should come to memphis um <laughs> did you but there's a lot of like Col- there's a lot of weird word, not weird words, but like colored. Yes. And black so, for instance, and- I'm I'm I am referred to as colored in my country. That's what you had to fill out on the boxes when we still had the boxes when you had to tick a box. So I would have to choose colored, which means which is the skin color. So a skin color. So Blake Griffin, they would say is colored. Let me put it like that. Right. Drake, they would say is colored. Right. Alicia Keys, they'd probably say colored. But well, LeBron James is what? Black. And like black, black. Okay. And then like, and then you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so Barack Obama, depending on like his ex- sun exposure on that, then because right. he could go either way. You know, he's a darker shade of mixed. Just but arbitrary then, nonsense. Yeah, that's but that's literally what, what it was. And what did it mean? It was just a distinction. It didn't mean anything. You oh, it meant everything. It meant what jobs you could get, where you could go, who you could... Like in prison, let me put it this way. <laughs> so white crazy. people wore long pants in prison. So if you're a white man in jail, first of all, they'd be like, why are you here? There's no need for you. To be. But then if you were, they'd give you long pants. And then if you were um, if you were colored or Indian, then you could also wear like longer clothes. But then black guys had to wear shorts. <laughs> they were like, you guys don't need long pants. And that's too super much black cloth. guys had to wear And then you, you, they gave you different food as well. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you no, different. no, no. In prison, yeah. Every you had different portions of food and different. So white people had bread and stuff, and the black people had to eat what was uh, like uh, what you guys have like grits out here. We okay. call it pop. Uh-huh. So it was different throw, portions. Hey, favorite, throw a click in there for me. <laughs> it doesn't right. have a I click. I don't just man. throw clicks. Throw a click in. <laughs> just throw clicks. I'll in give random. you a dollar. Throw oh. a click and pop. Oh yeah, we had pop. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah everyone a, knows what you're talking about. There's a. <laughs> That was Doug with an apple out of it. It meant everything. It, meant, it literally the, think of it like this. So white people were at the epicenter, and then you had and then you had colored and Indian people just outside them. This is where you're allowed to live in the areas. So you have white people in the city, and then in the suburbs surrounding the city, and then you have Indian and colored people surrounding them, and then you have black people on the outside. So it was like the barrier. And what they would do is they would tell Indian and colored people that they were better than black people. So right. they go, you know, Divide you guys, you know, if you guys work hard. You might just be white in a few years' time. That was like the, you know, like if you, you're on the track. You've been doing really well lately, Moshe. We've noticed your hard work. And there might be an opening coming up in white. So, <laughs> and you laugh at this, these but white then. are dropping like But flies. then, no, it, it, they, they, these guys were crazy. You don't yeah. understand. So then you had colored people, which really had been oppressed. They were the children of slaves because they were, you know, from the white settlers that had babies with the Africans. And that's that's a race that evolved. But now they started hating black people because they believed they were better than black people. Right. And then black people believed they were also better than other black people because they broke it down. So were it was they, just was that by complexion also? No, 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 no. This was tribe. This was all Got tribe, it. and they broke it down. And it was just it was just the craziest thing ever. Well, and that's then, classic colonialism. They would go into a place. They would make far, uh, They would make false uh, separations between people, and then they would pit yes, them against each yes. other. And say, that's you guys exactly are the what they did. Class. Yes, yeah. and that's exactly what they did. So, okay. Okay. Uh, what I've never white understood. people don't trust black people. <laughs> what I don't understand about you is how you grew up in that, and you're not only are you not bitter, you're what I would call sunny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're unbelievably sunny. Because you have unbelievably surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you have unbelievably good self-esteem. Because you you have two choices. Like he's the number one comedian. Number yeah, two. I mean, it's true. Uh, no. It's no, not like he's no, no. some janitor in no, Soweto. No, no. Still like fuck. But, but I'm just no, a but sunny dude. Like but that. it's not that. It's not that. You just you just look. One was my mom. I just I never knew. For I honestly, growing up, I did not know that I wasn't black. I honestly didn't know this. I hung out with the kids, and I mean, within first of all, in your neighborhood, you grow up together. So you, at, when you really babies, no one's going, "Goo Gaga, why are you black? Or why right. aren't you black?" 
you just grow up together. They just know you're lighter than they are. That's that's it. And you just know your family. I'm just like, well, I know my dad's got light skin and my mom's got. I didn't even know yeah. that there was black and white, you know. And then when I started, when I, I think when I went to school, that was the first time. Because then what happened is around 1990, obviously 1990 apartheid ended. So they said, okay, no more. They're like, this is wrong. We're really sorry. Uh, <laughs> Our bad. Yeah. Yeah. You guys just do what oh, you do. And then yeah, you guys can run it. And then we're like, can we have our land back? And they were like, no, but we're sorry. Um, and then they didn't even give us casinos like you guys do with the Indians. Give it time. So then. Uh, <laughs> They're coming. So it then, took the Indians like 120 years to get them. But yeah. You, you, so then. Um, so then what happened is they started these programs where they'd get black kids to go into the white schools. And I was lucky enough to go into a school where it was like, this is a decent school with books and chairs, which was just, it was like, wow. Reminds me of a theory a friend of mine has. So like, you know, <laughs> and so I went to that. Then it was like, now the white kids would go, oh, wow, you speak really well for, for a non-white guy. And then I was like, yes, because we've had the same English teacher for five years, you ass. And, right. And... And then the, you know, and then the... And then he'd go like, he called me an ass. This colored boy called me an ass. And then, and then, the, black, and then the black guys, would, it would be like the first week in school. kiss my ass. <laughs> the black guys in school would go, you know, where are you from? What do you do? And then I'd speak to them in Zulu or Tswana or, you know, because I could speak a lot of the languages. And then guys would just be like, oh, oh, we thought you were colored. And I'm like, well, I guess technically. And they're like, no, you're not. You, you can speak it. You, you know, you're... Oh, you're black. You're a black guy. Yeah. Right. So by the time you got to school, age six, it's... Apartheid's basically over, but there's uh, the system is in place. I mean, it's it's uh, it's in terms of the 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 system is you know it's still in effect. The law has been abolished. It's right. just like when they you know outlawed I mean? slavery. So it's, it's ba- yeah, right. it's it's basically the same thing. I go okay, it's over now, and then you but then what? But you, you don't have money, you don't same, have education, yeah. you don't have anything. So nothing's going to change overnight. You have nothing. You have literally nothing. Well, so so then I you you, you have to try and enough. you know and, and then and then I would say it. I, I remember the change came in the night in the late nineties. This is when it was now uh, there was a lot of turmoil early on, like ninety four, before our first elections, real elections where everyone could vote after, and stuff. After Mandela, yeah. Now it was like because white people left, the, they ran. They just they they went. They They're went like, to oh, Australia. Okay, we they, get out where they literally took off. They took off. They they sold everything. They cashed out. They were. Do gone. you know the percentage right oh, now? No. No, I don't. But they, I mean, let me put it this way: in Australia, for instance, there's 